Live. That's good shit. Dude. I was thinking the same thing. I looked that cap. I was like, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. What's up, everybody? What's up? Welcome to another episode of Live Marvelous Statues. And we are here with my man, Junior Statue Collector. What's up, homie? Yo, what's up? What's up? I mean, it's been a while, man. I missed you, bro. What's missed going you on? Too, dude? Bro. Missed you too, bro. Missed you too. It's been a come long back. time, bro. Hey, come Should've back. left you. Without a strong yeah, beat to step two. <laughs> Jeez, man. I was like, man, come back from the con. You do a show. I'll go away from vacation. I'm like, oh, man, I miss these guys. Yeah, uh, man, it's been a minute, right? And then we yeah, went on the last uh, geek show and it wasn't the same. It was fun. It was still a good geek show. I had a great time on that episode. But, you know, I missed you, bro. Missed you. I missed you too, man. I missed the whole crew, man. I hope everybody's doing well, man. How was you? How are you doing? How's everything with you? Man, everything's good. Everything's good. I've been working on that Batman statue, hopefully trying to get the thing fixed. Yeah, thing. man. Sorry about that, dude. I hope everything works out for you on that, man. I've been having a little yeah. bit of a frustra frustrating time with that, but, you know, other than that, everything's been all right. Otherwise, you? How's yeah. vacation? Good, good, good. I had a good time with the family, you know, the kids and everybody. Going on another one tomorrow again, going down to the city of Bully Love, Philadelphia. True. So I'm going to be leaving tomorrow morning. And, For a convention, uh, right? Yeah, I'm going to the um, Keystone Comic Con and then I'm going to uh, the Franklin Institute to watch, to see the, the Marvel Museum stuff they got up there. True, true. So I want to go check that out tomorrow, too. So. All right, real quick, man, before we uh, get further into this, that way I show some love to everybody's in the chat. Thank you for the 12 people that are watching. At least that's what it is on my phone right now. My phone's a little bit delayed. So what's up, Jay Funko, Edwin Diaz, Jesse Hernandez, Danny Ferreira, JD Banner, uh, ATV Racer, man. How you doing, ATV? Yo, that's my boy, ATV in the house. JD and Banner. Edwin. Oh, Jesse. Oh, Candyman sorry. Rip. Alan Kiefer in the house. What's up, Alan? How you doing, dude? So we got... I'm assuming 12. Let me back we out and get back in. We got 24 on this one over here. I see 25 now. See, that's what I'm saying. My phone is always delayed. That's why I have yeah, the hardest time. We got Recovering it's... Toy Addict, Ronald Rivera. All right. I see Recovering Toy Addict. Yeah. We, we do appreciate your support. So thanks again for thanks tuning for in. Thanks for tuning you know? into the show. We are going to be unboxing the Green Arrow Premium Format statue today. Junior mm -hmm. got it. Let's see that nice green box over there. Let's see this puppy, man, because she's... I know you've been waiting all day, huh? Uh, yeah, I mean, it's okay. I mean, you know, you know, I'm cool with it. You know, I'm cool with waiting. You know, just uh, it doesn't make you know anything for the show. I wait. It's good to me. You know, I've been, I got, I got, I got my taste this month. I got Red Hawk. I got uh, Magneto. <laughs> oh. So I'm a little, I'm a little at ease. So I can wait to open up. Got your box. fix, right? You got your fix. <laughs> so Jay Funko says, "Hey George, I like that bus Venom. Dude, that that Venom bus is dope." Yeah, yeah, man. Do you like that piece? I do, man. I do. I mean, other than the the saliva being a little bit yellow colored, I wish they would have made left that clear. Okay. I like it, man. It's a nice looking piece, actually. After it's been sitting in my office for a while, and the funny thing is, is that when you're not up on it, looking at the yellow, you know, and it's in your collection like normal, you don't really pay attention to the fact that the, that the teeth have that. But I, man, I like it. It's dope. So no, oh, what, what, 90 FM Comics is in the house. What's up, Chad? Oh, chat is here. What's up, chat? Thank you for showing up, man. Appreciate that too, man. Uh, what's your opinion from the prototype to the production piece? Prototype was better, obviously. The only I, I showed in the video, I had a side by side so I could show you guys the actual difference oh, yeah, between okay. the two of them. And yeah, that clear resin made it really nice, or whatever they used. I don't know if it was hot glue or what, but it, it just it looked better in the uh, you know what what I saw at the convention just for that. But that was. Mm, do you feel that piece is yours because it's right there next to you? <laughs> <laughs> When you look at that Venom bus, does it feel like it's yours in your collection? Yeah. <laughs> I know. I know. I know, man. You know, my, my buddies, like I said, my, my friend is, is a huge Venom fan, right? So he gets all those pieces. And then, you know, because of where he lives, he gets them through me. And I get to, to take a look at them before before I get it over to him. So I, I get the opportunity to see a lot of different Venom statues. Um, but that bus, after I saw it, it was it, that's the second time that I've been like, I really want to just go and order this myself right now. <laughs> oh, so you really like it like that? Okay. Yeah, I like it. I do, man. The only thing is, is that it's the only bust I'll have. So it's like, I don't know if I, you know, it's impulse. I don't want to, I don't want to succumb to impulse. Yeah, that's the same thing. That's why I, I canceled mine. I'm like, you know what? If I get this bust, I'm only going to have one. So I ended up canceling it because I just don't like to have one thing of one, you know, so. Russell yeah, Gunn says he's got 
Uh, he got his X-23, his Rogue, and his Prime 1 Catwoman on the way. That's what's up, man. All of those are really good statues. Yeah, you got some good ones coming in, man. Yeah, Ronald yeah. Rivera, Gambit. Yep, Gambit comes out next week. I'm pumped about that. So is my brother. Yeah, you guys are getting the Sideshow Gambit, right? Yeah, yeah, we're going to get uh, the Sideshow Gambit. I'm, uh, I'm going to be getting the, you know, the XM. You know how that go. <laughs> I yeah, the XM, I'm getting the XM Gambit, so I'm gonna go with that one. They both good. They both good. They're both I amazing. Both, I like them both a lot. Yeah, I like think. I think in that route, when it comes to both of them, I think anybody's gonna be good with either or. I think they both both great pieces. I think they both um, say something. Yeah. So you know, I think both Gambits are awesome. So any any of those, my opinion, I think anybody will be good with any of those two Gambits. What's you know, the funny thing is, aside from having some really serious issues right some really serious issues like what happened with uh emma frost's you know eyes that thing and then oh, you know, man. i don't know how to, yeah or pieces good. that don't fit you gotta admit a lot of these statues even when they're not that you know the best it's still pretty badass looking stuff a lot of it yes so, no it is yeah i agree with you i agree with you i mean I, you know like i said this is what i mean about everybody having a choice of buying whatever you like so it's that that's this is a perfect example you know you got two good gambits who are you gonna get you know People like the beast, you know, uh, people, I mean, um, the saber tooth. So, you know, everybody's got either like the sideshow saber tooth or they like the saber tooth from um, XM. And I think they're both great pieces. Mm -hmm. So everybody tastes, you know what I mean? So I think this is what I mean when you want to get which, whatever you desire, which is great, you know. Sure. I mean, I'm just going to make everybody happy, whatever they decide, you know. They're both great pieces. Same thing with hopefully, you know. They come out with beast. Hopefully we see something in New York Comic Con. I'm hoping to see a beast. I'm hoping to see... Cyclops in your Comic Con. Yeah. Hopefully, that's what I'm hoping for, and a little bit of more DC villains. See more hopefully, DC villains. Yeah, hopefully they show like a Two Face or a Penguin in New York. That'll be nice seeing one of those from Sideshow up there too. You know, so you know, and I know XM's gonna be up there with their one six line uh, uh, DC's collection. So I can't wait to see that those pieces in uh, in, uh, in live, like the Lobo they made. But hopefully they bring that up there. Ronald and, Rivera uh, says he loves getting the updates from us. Thank you, bro. Yeah, that Gambit, man. I, mean, I can't wait. I can't wait. I saw that. I was just like, whoop. <laughs> I was like, I was, you know, and I was about to. I was, I was right because I, I got that itch. You know, it's like, are you? I was like, man, I need to order something. It's because I feel like I haven't ordered something in, in a long time. It's been a whole week. You know, I was like, I need to, I need to get my fix. And, and so I was about to, man. I'm sitting there. I'm like looking at the Magneto. I'm looking at the 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 uh, Colossus. You know, just to have another X Men. And then I saw that post. Gambit comes out next week. It's like, nope, not succumbing to impulse. I'm gonna wait. <laughs> it's funny because you probably have like ten views because I keep going back to the channel and keep looking at that Gladiator Hulk. Ah. Oh. Oh, yeah, I, keep I like that, that, that piece, man. You must have like ten views already from me going back there and rewinding that thing and just looking at that because I'm I'm excited for that piece also too. Sure, uh, that Gladiator Hawk is gonna look amazing. I can't wait to see that thing, man. You know. So what do you? I mean, I've changed up the reviews a little bit um, since. I mean, this live video obviously is gonna be more of just us chatting about what we got here and we'll throw in a couple of things to, to flavor it up. But uh, I've changed my reviews a little bit and unboxings to be much shorter. Recently, I don't know if you guys have noticed, they've been somewhere around five to ten minutes lately, and I've added in some content like you know information about you know key comics that go with that character, just in case you want to get something like that. So since I got you guys in the chat, man, what do you guys think of the new format with that? How do you, you too, Junior? I mean, you've seen them. You know, what do you, how do you feel about that? You think it's too short or how you feel? No, I think it's short and sweet. What they say, right? Yeah. So, you know. <laughs> I mean, you know, people want to, you know, people sometimes are, in a, are on a lunch break or they're in a break somewhere from working, you know, and that's yeah. that, that's pretty good that they can just pop in the phone and see a quick review or a quick unboxing and, and seeing what they like. You know, sometimes they, it's when you have the time, you can come home and see the whole thing. I mean, it works for me either or long or short to right. me, you know, as long as I get the feedback that you want to, you know, you talk about the statue and. And you, you know, you like always. You are honest. And people look forward to reading what you gotta say. Even me, I'm a collector. You know, at the end of the day, we all collect what we're gonna collect. Right. But it's always great to always hear your feedback on, you know, on some yeah. reviews that you put out there. So, you know, that's all that matters to everyone on the channel. So, right. Yeah. In, in my opinion, I feel like you know, I, I was thinking about it over like what I feel is important about a review for for everybody. And you know, honestly, your your opinion about it, you know, is it nice and cool is is one aspect. But that's an opinion. 
Because, I mean, like you know, like you said, the Sideshow Sabretooth. There's a lot of guys that like the Sideshow Sabretooth. I'm not a fan of it. I prefer the, the XM, you know. But it doesn't mean the Sideshow one is bad or that it was, like, sculpted no. horribly or anything. It's just not my flavor. It's yours. So, no. but what's important is, you know, did this statue go together correctly? You know, is there any paint flaws? Um, you know, well, that's the end of the day. That have googly get, eyes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's what we're here for. At the end yeah. of the day, that's what we're going to look for. That's what you're going to look for. And that's where we're going to go by. I mean, you know, Sideshow had his up and downs, and now they're just coming up left and right, and I give my respect as I see it. You know, you do good things, you hear good things. You do bad things, you hear bad things. Right. I mean, you know, everybody got to figure it out. You know what I mean? It's like when you go to school, you do bad things, you hear it from the teacher. You do good things, and you get good grades. Yeah, <laughs> true. You know, I mean, if we were liars, then we'll say he and lie about every single piece. Oh, true. this piece is beautiful. This piece is beautiful. This piece is beautiful. Then what the hell do they want to listen to us? Everything we look at is beautiful. Yeah, yeah true. It's not, you're not giving an honest opinion. Yeah, yeah. You, you you know, you're basically kissing ass mm -hmm. and saying that every single piece that comes out is beautiful. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So every time you get a sideshow piece and people want to kiss their ass, then you're basically kissing sideshow's ass. <laughs> you well, know see, what I'm saying? So, you know what I mean? I mean, I, I, I mean, I, I, listen, sideshow does good. I'll tell sideshow is good. Yo, you did a great piece. Awesome piece, great paint job, great everything. You do a fucked up piece, I'm going to speak the truth about the piece and tell you it's just fucked up. <laughs> and that's it. You don't fucking like it, don't listen to me. All right. All right. I don't got enough beeps to cover all those F-bombs you dropping, bro. Yeah. So <laughs> you got a little excited. <laughs> what's up, OG Geek? How you doing, man? Yo, what's up, OG? All right. All right. So let's break this box open, man. Let's see what's going hey, on with it. TV, a TV racer. Everything you buy, Jr. is beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> You're a beautiful man, bro. That's what it is, man. <laughs> what about me, ATV? Am I beautiful? <laughs> no. Let's we'll see. While we're getting up on Junior opening the box, I know that didn't sound right, but it's all good. I meant that with the most clear intentions. All right, let's see what we got. Let's let's um let's do some trivia. Huh? Well, I'll tell you um, what. Are you able to read the chat, bro? I like I like unboxing this box instead of a prime one box. <laughs> yeah, right. When you have to, if you do a couple of those, man. Hey, um, are you able to read the chat from where you're at? Uh, let me see. I'll get it right here. Uh, what's going on? Talk to no, me. No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna I'm about to ask a question and see what. Uh, I think. Damn it! Screw me up. My whole idea here is not working. <laughs> Why? Bad. Why internet? Are you messing with? Ah, wait, 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 wait. All right. Let's see how hard this is. All right, guys. So, can you see the chat now? And, uh, without without looking at your phones, I know I know uh, uh, Chad's up in the chat. He's probably gonna answer this one pretty quick. So, what was the first appearance of the Green Arrow? Do you know what that was, Junior? You know what comic that was? Oh wow! You get to do. I should have not. I should not smoke before I got on. <laughs> you wouldn't know even if you did. If you didn't smoke, don't don't be fronting. <laughs> I didn't know until just this moment, so I'm just being honest. No, no, what is it? So tell me. What was the chat. first? No, let's let's see if the chat if the chat will answer that, man. Go ahead. I got I got the chat back up. What was the first appearance of the Green Arrow? Let us know in the comments, people. Let us know. Go ahead, man. Go ahead. Keep on opening the box, bro. I got I got the chat. I'm looking. You got it. All right. I've been seeing pictures of this dude, man. He looks dope. Yeah. No, I was when I saw the prototype up on uh, on Sasho's. Uh, Unboxing, you know, when they were showing it off, I was amazed. You know, like I said, they've been doing some good jobs, and then they fall through, like Emma Frost. They do a good job. I mean, you know, a lot of people like Silak. I think Silak, you like Silak. You know, a lot of people like Silak. I don't, I don't, I like everything about her, about her face. Yeah, that's it. That's I, mean, I like nothing wrong with that. I, I think like you get. Sarlacc. I think you gain a, a a custom head for that will be freaking amazing if you can get a custom head for her. Yeah, I'm trying. The so whole piece will look amazing if somebody makes it. I'm, I'm gonna try it. For that. I gotta. Yeah, I'm gonna try it out. I'm gonna try it out. Yeah, a custom head will look. If you get a custom head with that piece, my God, that thing will look amazing. Woo! Chad for the win, bringing that bringing that knowledge in. More fun comics number seventy three. More oh. fun comics. That's where he appeared. Him and Aquaman and Speedy all appeared for as their first appearance in More Fun Comics number seventy three. Now, was that comic fun? That, that's what the real question is. <laughs> now, this looks like 
All right. Let's see what else we got here. Well, this didn't come broken, but let's see what happens. All right. Let's see so what other good things. Here. What other good stuff is in here? Wow, really? There's also other comics that he's been in called All Funny Comics. DC wasn't really that inventive with their names back then, I guess. Or maybe was it DC? Nah, let me see something. I think this thing. What are you talking about over there, man? What are you doing? Huh? What are you bringing? You're seeing the, how this thing, how this thing is working here. Okay, all right. Just want to make sure everything's all right. All right. In what second, comic? I'm just and what comic did the Green Arrow first meet Superboy? Which comic was that? Keep on going. Your job, Junior, is to open the box. My job here is to try to keep people thinking about other stuff. <laughs> hey, five bucks. Thanks, Ben Carter. I appreciate that. He says, yo, Junior, since you're a DC guy, what do you think is the best looking Wonder Woman statue out or about to come out? Ah, uh, man. Let me tell you something, man. Right now, the best Wonder Woman, believe it or not, to me, uh, on one full scale, is Sideshow Speed. That's the only one I can think of right now. Um, that's doing. That's know. the best Wonder Woman out there. He's he, he didn't say it had to be one quarter. He just said a Wonder Woman. Uh, let me see. I'm trying to look here. Um, I would probably uh, prefer the Tweeter Head one if it wasn't for the scene. Um, it's more more comic accurate more you know uh but i think i think sideshow though i think sideshow's wonder woman right now will be that's your best bet right there that's my best bet right now besides the injustice league that's coming out for prime one but that's from the injustice league it's not really comic mm -hmm. i think she's beautiful you saw her job what you thought about her when you saw her at the con which one um the wonder woman from uh prime one studios on uh, the horse the one scale the one fourth? You mean the the injustice one? Yeah. How did you like her? I didn't like that. You didn't like her? Nah, it, I'm not into that suit. What's up, Calvin? Calvin's in the house. What's up, oh, Mac Collections? Calvin. Wow. It's Calvin. Hey, Calvin. I hope I hope you didn't have to use the bathroom after you finished that skydiving, dude. Damn. <laughs> Jeez, guy. <laughs> What's up, Barbara? Uh, love you, Calvin. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see if we can get some more some more comic knowledge out there. Let's see what else we got here. All right, all right. In um all right, in, in what issue of Justice League did Green Arrow join the Justice League of America? It's like hmm. No. Chad's like killing it, man. He's like just just this dude is like a fountain of knowledge with comics. You gotta watch it. You're gonna be cheating. Be cheating. <laughs> <laughs> you know, watch this guy gonna be cheating, man. Nah, I'm a mad chat, bro. Yo, he just has like the back knowledge of that stuff, man. He's like, uh, he's man. like a computer. The comic man, man. The comic computer man. All right, so let me just get this stuff. That's away. right, man. Chad is a beast. I'm all reading everybody's chats on my phone. You know the stuff. I'm going blind, guys. I'm getting old, man. I actually need glasses. The other day I was trying to read my phone. The other day I was trying to read my phone and I was all like doing one of these numbers, you know? And I was like, damn, I've turned it into my father. <laughs> <laughs> this bass is pretty heavy, man. Is it? Wow. Yeah, this bass is pretty heavy, dude. Right, nice so nice work on the on the water here. Yeah. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah. Alright. All right, cool. Painted really nicely. Yeah, this is yeah. I'll bring I'll bring up the camera close so you guys can see. Um Get to that position there. Uh, now, this handle with care. Okay. Statue Van Hex says, Chad is like the NBA playing in the Olympics. <laughs> <laughs> this is his arrow pack. I guess this is where that piece came off. So, in case you guys are just jumping in, the question is what issue of Justice League did Green Arrow join the Justice League? Of America. Mm -hmm. Of America, as Seth would say. <laughs> a lot of pieces here. You know, everybody had a problem putting that Magneto together, dude. Yo, um, that Magneto was was a, was a challenge, man. You know, you could you could. <laughs> I know you were in heaven and everything, but it was a challenge. <laughs> yeah, uh, I was I was watching uh 
I was watching you and Barbara unboxing that thing and putting that thing together, bro. bro. I think you went to win and got lunch. And you did yours fast with the thing. I was the one got lunch and came back and, and Barbara was still putting that thing together. Yeah, right, man. Barbara? That shit was a long that, that thing was a long time. I've had to fast forward that stuff. They put it on time lapse. And yes, Chad is correct. Although Barbara, I think, was close with X-Men number two, that's when he joined. Absolutely. <laughs> Um, yeah, man. Uh, I, I felt like that that Magneto was, was one of the more challenging pieces to put together, dude. It took me. I tired myself. It took me, I think, twenty five, twenty six minutes to put that together. Really? Mm hmm. That's because you saw my video. That's why, dude. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, you know what I did? To be honest with you, yeah, yeah. I put all the big pieces in first. All right. I, I follow the instructions. I put all the big pieces in first, and then I worried about the the small stuff. I'm an instructions kind of guy. How about that question in the chat? How many of you guys put your statues together based on instructions when you have the instructions? And how many of you guys just wing it? Oh, my God. This thing. Oh, shit. Wow. Wow. The magnet was good? I heard that thing snap. Yeah, dude. This thing is good, dude. Dude, I love how that compartment opens. That's dope. Yeah, this thing is amazing. I, know. I like that. That's pretty good. Primal Geek says he wings it. I wing it, too. He wings it, man. He just lets it wing out. It's good to wing out, <laughs> man. I, I get I get serious anxiety when I'm I'm trying to put something together and it don't fit correctly, you know. And, and I'm trying to follow the instructions and shit. I mean, I, I really like get like like sweat on my brow, you know. Sometimes a little bit of anger. Okay, we got that. <laughs> Daniel right. Rivera says he wings it every time. He ain't got time to read. <laughs> Uh, whatever I says it good for you if it wasn't if it wasn't live <laughs> <laughs> I, I'll take it back down for you Barbara everybody I can do it live <laughs> yo live unboxing is even worse man that's why I leave it to you bro I'm not doing that <laughs> I just do I like doing the live unboxing I just hate when you open the box and somebody gets something broken it's like oh yeah. man <laughs> and I can't even hide it man my whole demeanor changes when something's broken. Forget that. Or something doesn't fit into place. People even notice. They're like, I knew the exact second when George lost his interest in the statue. You know? Saw me with that break. My, my happy face turns into like a frown. You know? I'm like borderline cursing at that point. This thing is cool though, George. This is amazing, dude. Russell says that he, w he used to wing it until he got to the prime one, Mr. Freeze. That one was the challenge. Oh, Mr. Freeze? Yeah, I don't got that one, man. I just, wow, yeah, everybody, yeah, that piece, I I, I, I haven't seen that piece yet. I, yeah. I don't know, man. There's been there's been a few of them. And and I, I think the other one that used that gave me a little bit of an issue, too, was the uh, XM Studio Poison Ivy. Even the Catwoman had a little bit of a problem, too. There's just, those places are, are elaborate that they put, you know, you put them together. Oh, wow. They actually did a good job on the skin tone, dude. Man, this looks nice. See right there. Yeah. <laughs> she said it's taking you twenty minutes to put this one together. That's because we're talking, Barbara. We're having a good. Oh, no. oh, Barbara! You know, I have to. You know, we're having a good conversation back and forth right now. You know, I had so some it's adding to it. I had some of that California love. That too. That's that's adding to it. <laughs> He's in a little higher place than I am. <laughs> Before I started, I went to this mellow, enjoy it, hang out with you guys, because it's been a long time I haven't seen you, anybody. Like, you know what I legit will not do, unboxing those live unboxings, is the figures, man. I, I don't even like doing recorded unboxings of the figures. Every time I do a Hot Toys figure, I almost break the damn thing. I just, it, I, I feel like a gorilla in a, like a china shop with that thing, and every time, it's just, there's too, they're too uh, delicate, you know. Okay, so then now... Primal Geek, me too. I could use a good small console. He didn't even tell me he was going to be doing that. <laughs> Man, left me out. I was like, George, I'll be right back. Yeah. <laughs> he comes back and he's like, hi. How you doing? <laughs> I had to, you know... Paulo Silva was asking if you made those shelves yourself. He absolutely did. Yes, I did. Mm -hmm. Besides... outside and chopped a piece of wood and made them into shape. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so then this, how will this go? This goes in here, or this goes. That's here? right, Primal Geek. That's it's, that's proper etiquette, man. Proper etiquette. 
right, well, this is like this is actually something like Manito, Barbara. Because <laughs> mm -hmm. this thing is like you got to put all these little arrows. I feel like I'm putting the the metal beams. <laughs> what issue of Justice League did Green Arrow first meet Black Canary? Uh oh oh oh! Don't oh. act like you know the answer to that one again. This is uh, these are hard questions, bro. I, I wouldn't know this shit if I didn't look it up. <laughs> I'm about to. <laughs> all right, hold on a second. This is okay. So these go here, right? Yeah, they gotta go here. Okay. I don't know why they have the lower one there, but you can actually put them in the lower Uncanny one. Uncanny X Men number three. <laughs> oh, Barbara, you killing me. Barbara, every every answer is is an X Men comic for Barbara. Yeah, man. Congrats on that piece. On that, that's Medusa, right? I'm thinking that's Medusa. Medusa. What Medusa? What, what's what's the one with the dog? Oh, that's uh, yeah. I think it is Medusa. Is it, is it? No, I can't remember. No, I, I think she already had that one though. She got what she said. She got was Black Bolt. No, no, Black Bolt. She had already. The Black Bolt. She, she had. Up, uh, she picked up the um the the one with the dog Medusa from the X. Yeah, Medusa. Medusa. Okay. I'm confused. Yeah. She's a beauty, man. Congrats on her too, by the way. I like that picture with the dog next to her dog that cracked me up. Yeah, that's uh, yeah, that's that. She's a beautiful piece, and the yeah, the dog with the picture that was funny. Yeah, that was funny as hell, dude. That was pretty good. So these. What it's all right, Chad. You can answer, man. I know you. I know you're like dying to answer that question, bro. It's good. You can do it. <laughs> I'm gonna make sure which ones. Now, if I said I was giving away a statue for answering these questions, you know that this chat will be like flooded right now. <laughs> I'm not giving away a statue to answer these questions. I'm just telling you guys that right now. Oh, so they go like. We got yeah. another giveaway coming up pretty soon. Yep, yep. George, don't let me say what it is. That's <laughs> Actually, no, we got another giveaway before that giveaway. We're making it to that giveaway, okay? Okay, because I have a nice giveaway for everybody, but just yeah. won't let me know. Just won't don't let me say anything, so I'll keep it to myself until he's ready to tell me that <laughs> we can do that. Yeah, we've been we've been gaining subscribers so quickly. The giveaway's been coming fast. Pretty soon we will be at that giveaway. It's been awesome. <laughs> this is wow. A lot of arrows, I'll tell you that. Oh, Paolo, man, you're right, dude. When I was over at his house, I sat there and stared at that show for like a minute. He's talking about your ladies, bro. Oh, the ladies? Yeah. Thanks, man. Work hard on this. I just finished moving all my DC statues permanently from the model room, so that they're all here now. I made a whole area over here that I did a whole new show. He's on this side of the room over here where I moved everything over now. So yeah, that's really in, in the east wing. Yeah, see, it was Medusa. Yeah, no, I got Medusa. Yeah, see, it was Medusa. Yeah, I know, I read it. it. I'm good. Yeah, I told you, yeah. my job is to read the chats. I'm on it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you to the 54 people. I hope that I got the 54 people right. And yeah, 52 people in the chat. Oh, Tommy's in the house too. I'm glad everybody joining. Hey. Thank you so much, man. Uh, Travis, thank you. Appreciate that. Primal Geek 2 is in here. So, oh man, look at this portrait, dude! Wow. You gonna go classic portrait or or the? I'm one? going classic, baby. You going classic? All right. I'm going classic, man. Wow. You know, I like the classic. I still would go with the hooded one, though. Yeah, I like the classic, man. I mean, you know me. I I, I changed, I changed my exclusives, Barbara. I changed your pieces. <laughs> I don't change. My I remember old Tommy telling you you don't change anything. I want to get a, a um, one of those boxes with the foam and everything, and, and put my stuff in the, in that foam. Cause I don't, I channel change my stuff. Yeah, I change, I change. Oh, this is a nice portrait too. Yeah, the hooded portrait looks really nice too, dude. Yeah, I know. That's why I was like, the hooded one is dope. Yeah, this one has the eyes, and the other one has just white eyes on it. True. Um. True. true. All right, so. I can't wait for New York, but so are you, man. Right now, man, my focus is Disney, bro. I'm going to, to Star Wars land next week, so that, that's that's where I'm pumped about at the moment. Then New York. I'm, I'm excited for New York, too. Yeah, man. I can't wait to see you, man. It's been a minute, man. I can't wait to see everybody yeah, out there. It'll be it's nice to see you out there. You know, is Chad coming or what? No, I don't think Chad's coming. At least I don't know. I don't, I don't think so. I know Seth is going to go. He's going to make it? He's not going to pull back in the last minute, is he? <laughs> <laughs> no, not this time. Well, actually, I'm leaving early, man. I'm going to be out there hanging out. I'm going to go see my boys in the Bronx on Tuesday. 
I'm heading out there. I'm, I'm going to be up there already by Tuesday, so I'm going to hang out with all my peoples from the block. On Tuesday, I'm going to go up to the Bronx and see what's up up there, my fellas up there, see if they want to come down and join me out in the city. What's up, Joel 94? So, yep. I'm going to see. All right, this is the portrait here. Oh, man, yeah, this thing. Wow. Dude, I got my Justice League finished. Unless they make a Martian Man, I have the spot for the Flash. The Flash is going to go right next to the Flash sign. This was going to go right next to Superman, and my Justice League is done, bro. Can't wait to see this thing finish, bro. Come on, Chad. You can come with me, dude. I'm only. I mean, I'm gonna be up there for the whole weekend, dude. But you could come with me to to Galaxy's Edge, bro. Thursday. I think Seth is supposed to uh, drive up. We're gonna head up early in the morning. Go wild out <laughs> with our lightsabers out. <laughs> yeah, dude. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna be up there in New York by Tuesday. Mm -hmm. um, and when are you gonna be? Uh, Arriving up there. Land Wednesday. You land Wednesday, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay. All right. So this puppy is almost finito. Okay, so this arrow is the one that goes to him here. You lay the arrow here, and you take this one on. You put this in here. Okay. Ah, Buck fan says, nice shirt on Junior. I bet Tom Holland wishes there were no recasts. <laughs> <laughs> original oh, here, baby. Original. Yeah, that's you know. awesome. That's awesome. That is pretty messed up what's going on right now with Spider-Man in, uh, in the MCU, man. Good stuff, man. What's my sexy chocolate still in the chat or what? Chad, man, come on. Don't think about it, man. Use the force. It is your destiny, dude. Come on. It's Join me. Is my Hershey bar still here? Together we could rule Galaxy's hey, Edge. Calvin is still here. Good stuff. You got your New York badges already? I did too. Oh, now I haven't got mine. So I checked my mailbox. Okay. You probably got the New York badges already? Yeah, wow. I got them already. I got to go check that out, bro. All right. Can't wait to see a piece of my Hershey's. <laughs> All right, man, let's, let's get up on this green arrow. I love Calvin, man. Good guy. Yeah, he is. All right. It's my brother from another mother. That's right, man. Humble. No better than that, man. All right. Plus, so I've gone to so many cons with him. I don't know what else, who else I'm going to go with like that. He's like my con partner. Yeah, man. All right. So... I'm going to be taking the camera down. Do not shoot me. Or let me see if I can move it over and I can just zoom in where it is. All right? All right, man. All right, one second. This is the part where I start to throw up. No. <laughs> Woo. Good shot of this crotch area. There you go. Right and closer. Man, that thing looks nice. How's it looking to you, George? I think it looks pretty pretty good, man. You want me to go a little bit closer or what? No, nah, I mean we we'll start just we'll start there, just show us around and everything. Give us a good look at the piece. Your your um your cord for your headset is in the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just want to see. Um, hold on a second. Just, is that better there? Yeah, uh, I mean, it, it it's cool, man. My people would taste what it looks like. So I just want to make sure you guys are, are looking at it. All right. You good there? Yeah, it's pretty cool for the for the base. Do you, uh, do you want me to go closer? That's fine. Nah, move around the statue, man. Just show us okay. the whole thing. Just give All us right. a good taste of what it looks like. So. String. Okay, hook around both string first. So he's pulling it back. All right, good. We'll get up to that. Yeah, the the string here, right here. Hold on, give me one second. This goes like that. There we go. Bam. Yeah, it's nice. I pulled it back. All right, so I can't see anything because I'm not looking at the thing. So you guys are gonna have to 
So it works well, all right? Are you capable of moving the camera around and or? Yeah, 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 yeah. dude. Yeah, yeah, dude. Yeah, just move it, move it around the whole statue so we can see the whole thing. Don't don't bother just focusing on one spot. So then we're just gonna be staring at the at the feet like this. Just tell me what you want me to start because I'm not looking at the camera. I'm just looking at my phone. Oh, so. okay. You can yeah. ask your questions wherever you want me to. All right, it's pretty cool. Yeah, did the paint job on this. They actually did a great job on this thing. The base is nice. What's up, Chris? <laughs> um yeah that's yeah, painted really well and look at the back of the water looks really good mm -hmm. yeah it's good stuff man move up on on the piece man let's uh let's see the rest of it all right let me go all the way around all right that's pretty neat that um, that uh, foot peg that he stands on is that like that or does it fold down? This right here is like that. Mm. Mm -hmm. That's good. Cool. All right, let me move up to the piece where you wanted to go to the top there. Yeah, just to see the the body and everything. So she said. Yeah. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. You want to stop it there? This is all sculpted, right? Yeah. Mm hmm. Yeah, it's painted really good. The 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 back the back is like a PVC kind of plastic his his backpack. The the arrows are metal, kinda of like a metal PVC kind of feel to them. Uh but the statue itself all the way down to the bottom is all sculpted. Hmm. Everything's sculpted. This is not uh, the arm is but not this here. That's cool. I like how the those straps in the um in the upper outfit. Oh, like the, oh. that, is, yeah. that is really cool, yeah. Sculpted right there. That's sculpted? Wow. Mm -hmm. This is sculpted, yeah. The whole Man. thing is sculpted. The whole, the, whole, the whole thing is sculpted. That looks dope. Yeah, they did a nice job, man. The green, too. They, there's, there's a lot of little colors. A lot of different colors. Yeah, they, they did a great job with the green. No, I give the respect what it's done. They didn't. Yeah, this yeah, is the, the belt says G, the G. That's dope. The G man. Yeah, man. The good down here. See? Yeah. Let me go this way to the top to the back piece for the arrows. Yeah. Yeah, it's nice. That is cool. I wish I collected more DC stuff that I would get something like this. But then I would need a whole other wing like you. <laughs> <coughs> Gucci. Yeah. I'm straight. I live vicariously <laughs> through you, dude. I have my wishes. You know, I got, I got my pieces. I'm, I'm happy with what I got. Right. G's for Gucci. Except with Batman right now. I'm a little bit upset with Batman. But other than that. Look at that. Damn. Wow. Yeah. Dude, wow. Wow. Dude, man, I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna take a screenshot of this of this scene right here, man. Because I I love the way this this image looks right here with the Superman in the in the back like that and the different colors you got going on in the back. It really yeah, that looks cool. This yeah. looks really cool. That looks really really cool. Look at this thing. Yeah, that is some nice detail, man. Really cool, man. The muscles and everything. They did a really good job on the sculpt. It's focusing in the back now for whatever reason. Let me just move it to the That's looking better now. Uh, you might want to put your hand like behind the statue. Maybe that'll get it back in focus with... Uh... Nah, it doesn't seem to be working. Yeah, you may have to just move the camera around and readjust. Better there now. you go. That's better. Well, no, it went away again. Probably because the statue's off to the right. 
don't know. I'm just taking guesses here. I don't know. Uh, that's better. Yeah, just leave it there. That'll work. I don't move around. Oh, not so. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, let's try to put the hooded portrait on. See what the hooded portrait is. Like. Once you get it back in focus, of course. Right there. Uh, focus. Focus camera. Focus. I don't know why it's focused behind the camera. Yeah, wow. Try to pull back again and see if we can get a sharper image on this because it, all I'm seeing really close is Superman. Ooh, look at Superman. Like, what's up, man? Yeah, I know. <laughs> like, I'm important. <laughs> all right, let me move the camera this way so that doesn't focus on him. Yeah, there we go. Let me see. Yeah, there it goes. It, it was sharp. All right, that's a little close. Wow. Yeah, that'll that'll do. That'll do. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Go. Damn, that looks good. Yeah, I like the hooded portrait, man. That's the way I would go. That is pretty dope, man. Oh, uh, that was a step behind it. This is one of the pieces that if I saw, you know, I would be like, man, I want a cosplay. What's up, everyone? <laughs> <laughs> You know, do a cosplay like this. The outfit looks dope. That looks good, right? Mm-hmm. That shit looks good. I need to keep moving it around here. Yeah. Chris is like, Bob, teach Junior how things are done. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I like seeing the statue background. She's saying that, that you need a solid background to get it to, to stay focused. She's right. But I, I still sometimes like seeing it with, with stuff in the background a little bit. Like, like yeah, but, but yeah, when they do like for, like autographs, like when you take pictures and stuff like that, the background solid. Well, stuff. no, no, just to see the the rest of the collection. They just, I don't know. Look at that. But the but the but the flat background does make it easier to focus on on the on the subject. Barbara knows. Barbara takes some awesome pictures. Well, yeah, she does. I, yeah. yeah, she does actually. She's amazing. She makes you want to buy everything in her collection. <laughs> <laughs> everything looks sharp and dumb I well. know <laughs> even if I wasn't, wasn't a fan of it like she just posted the image of the of the uh, sideshow Colossus the, the original one I'm, I'm not a huge fan of that piece never really was but then I saw her pictures and I'm like I want to buy a Colossus all of a sudden I wonder why I'm like <laughs> no Barbara his focus needs more focus um See, Primal Geek says he was just looking at Sideshow's website, and they have the Karate Kid art print celebrating his 35th anniversary. Man, do I feel old. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> oh man, this is a dope statue, man. I like how they have like the it, like the hood looks like it's a little worn, like it has like worn leather. Dude, the, the face is 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 this. Let me show you this one. Let me see if this one comes up. But look at this. And, uh, I'm like, that's too blurry, bro. It's just a blurry head. Just put it back on the statue if you want us to see it. <laughs> I'm trying to get you a hate sometime with these uh, cameras to do that shit, dude. There you go. You know what I like about this one is he's got the squint going on with the one eye. Yeah, he's like about to get you. Yeah, like he's focusing. I love the beard on this. They actually did a great job on this thing. Yeah, yeah, I agree with Primal Geek. I feel like the hood makes him look more menacing, you know? Like, comes in there, you failed this city. Uh, this reminds me of him when he... It's comic version. He, he reminds me, yeah, comic version, but he reminds me when he's with Canary, Black Canary. Right. And have a lot of love scenes with him with this. Oh. So this is the one right here. Bow. Yeah. Yeah, baby. I also Whoa. like that on this one, the eyes are, um, you can see the, the iris. And then the exclusive. I'm not feeling the exclusive arrow one. I, I know that he's got those gags, dude. man, but I'm not into I, that stuff. Man. I love this, bro. This is like amazing. I love this. This is my favorite part of this thing. 
This one looks like men in tights. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that, dude. Oh, snap. Well, no, you got to pull back a little bit so we can see the... the... Just uh, zoom out a little bit. That's all. There you go. And if you turn them, we can see the... Uh, the what is it? The gag arrow? I don't know what to call it. The punching bag arrow? The, there you the, go. The glove. Boxing glove arrow. I'm sorry. Boxing glove arrow. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I know he has gag uh, these these arrows like this, but that's like mm -mm. I don't know that I would use that. He's out of focus again. Yeah, it's just one. It's just wanting to focus on your background. Oh well, it's an awesome piece, though, man. You happy? You happy, Junior? A bit of a back one there. They can see the whole thing. You happy with it, bro? Yeah. Yeah, I'm sorry. Every statue's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm fucking stoked, dude. Yeah. It's, just, it's gonna it's gonna be hard to beat this green arrow. Yeah, I don't think you can. This is Yeah, this is gonna be hard to beat this green arrow. That's a dope piece. Yeah, I like it, man. I like it a lot. Like I said, man, I wish I collected more DC, you know, or I had room like this, I would buy that, but alas, yeah. I have to pass on some. Yeah, dude, this is yeah, this is the best green arrow out there, dude. You know the funny thing is of the of Sideshow's quarter scale line so far, my favorites have been the Green Arrow and Flash. Uh you know what? I, I, I agree with you. I mean meaning flawless. Without, when I can say uh, 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 one to perfection, I say Green Arrow is number one right now. Besides, um, you know, the ones that I have in the background right now, I haven't seen Flash, so I can't say anything about Flash. Yeah, until we get the final production. But what until I saw at, at San Diego, man, I like the Flash a lot. So I, I like know, that one. I like this one. Yeah, I like, I like it. Uh, when it comes to perfection and done well, yes, this is the number one out of all of them they made so far of the line. Um, I'm a fan. I'm, I'm a fan. I'm not too. I love the Batman. Like I said, nothing yeah. that bothers me enough that I, I like it. Uh, I like the Wonder Woman. Just look things that I want. But this one is, there's nothing that I would change of it. Everything looks perfect. Everything looks great. Nothing yeah. that I don't like about it. I actually like the whole piece. Yeah, I love this thing. Uh, this is one of those pieces that yeah. I would I would want to collect because I just like it as an art as an art piece. I think it looks really good. Yeah, this um, looks. Yeah, it looks and really it good. makes me wish that I collected DC. Like I said. Makes me wish that. This is a well, really awesome piece. I'm going to probably see Flash live over there in New York Comic Con, so hopefully they'll bring that down so I can see it because I'm going to probably see it in New York. Can't wait to see the Flash. I tell you, man, you're going to want to order it when you see it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, I have to. Yeah, I, I actually, I mean, I, I see the video, dude. It looks, people were complaining about how long the legs were, but I'm hearing people saying that it doesn't look like that in person. So so um, last year when I went to New York Comic Con, they, the uh, scene... Uh, X23 in person. I ordered X23 that same day, so I'm wondering what's going to happen this this time. So, okay. What, what they're going to get me uh, get me with on this one? So, what are you thinking of your uh, on your on your um, in perspective? What do you think, you think we might see you in New York? Do you think we want to see a Cyclops, a Beast? Um, do you think we're gonna see? Uh, they have to bring out a Cyclops, dude. I think. Cy I mean, you think Cyclops I, is next? I think they have to do or Storm. I think Cyclops or Storm is gonna come out in New York Comic Con. Um, I'm between. I'm between Cyclops definitely. Like I told you, I'm about to tell you, you're gonna probably see Gambit in, in San Diego, and that happened. I knew that. Was gonna happen. so My opinion is that if Sideshow wants to to step out and make make the crowd go, they they got to do something that XM Studios isn't currently doing yet. I mean, I got the Gambit. I like the Gambit, in my opinion, better on the sideshow, but I still feel the XM is good. If they go for a Cyclops, the XM Cyclops is really awesome. You know, so it's going to be hard to, in my opinion, to try to top that. So it's going to be, I mean, I'll be interested to see what they do to, to bring out a Cyclops. But again, you're competing against the XM Cyclops. So what I would like to see if we were to, if we were to go there is something that XM hasn't even started doing yet. So something like uh, um, Nightcrawler or, you know. Somebody like that, something that it's gonna gonna be new, you know. I mean, that, that's what I mean. I'm thinking, I'm, I'm thinking we're gonna see a beast. 
You're gonna see a beast. Beast would be cool. Yeah. I think I think we're gonna see a beast. I think we're gonna see a beast and a cyclops. Yeah. That's my opinion. Nightcrawler, I think, would be the the killer though. Oh yeah, I mean, no. Uh, hey, I mean, Sasha's been, um, you know, been doing some crazy stuff lately. So hopefully they keep up that job. You know. Turn, yeah. I was gonna say turn the camera the other. Or, sorry, the cam, not the camera, the the microphone. Yeah, I'm just trying to. Yeah, you got to turn the microphone so the light's aimed at you. There you go. There I made go. that mistake one time. I shot a video and I had the light aimed the other direction. <laughs> <laughs> I go and I go to edit the video and I'm like, why is there so much echo? <laughs> we're good. Yeah, we're good. Okay. We're good. Yeah, man. You know, um, so I show hopefully comes out with some good stuff, man. I hope they um, they they come out with. I mean, I, like I said, you know, roll. They did a great job with roll. They did a great job with a lot of pieces, you know. Ohami well, says, but Sideshow pushes out their uh, out their stuff faster. Hook you, hook you first. Mm -hmm. I hear you. They do. They do get the stuff. Well, Ohami, what does it matter with you? You get both. <laughs> <laughs> well, you get two campaigns. You get everything. So you good. Don't worry about it. <laughs> but I think that the, that the, the way he's doing it is not mm -hmm. is, is right because you you don't know which one really is going to be the better one to keep and, until you see them in person. You know. And the yeah. XM Studio, unfortunately, in America, we're not going to see it in person. We got to, like, you know, go overseas and go check it out at the con over there. And see it. Yeah. 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 I mean, like I said, I mean, uh, I'm, I, I'm, I'm good with either or. You know, like, both Gambits look good. Uh, you'll be good with either or Gambit. Um, you know, yeah, you see, like, yeah, Jesse yeah. Hernandez brings it up. Archangel or Bishop. If, if Sideshow puts out an Archangel, a Bishop, a Nightcrawler, that would be dope, man, because nobody's done that. So it's like if they if they put something out like that, people are gonna go bananas, and they're they're gonna want to get it. So that's my thought. I think it's what they. Yeah, should. but yeah, which is which is true. But you know, I I I I I think in, I I see a nightcrawler is gonna be a surprise, but more to me, I think what they what was the um the print that they showed nightcrawler was on that or no? Um, on which one? On the X Men uh, print they put out, remember they sent no. the X Men print. But the X Men print was really more based on the Jim Lee cover. Yeah, but they've coming out with all the most of the Jim Lee cover. So True. I'm thinking Beast was in that cover. So I'm thinking that Beast um, is gonna be out there, man. I mean, I'm happy when they make a Beast, man. I love to get a Beast. True. Um, and to ask, uh -huh. um, where What's is up, uh, Seth? Ed, dude? Um. By the way, I think this is the most perfect, um, to answer your question, um, this is the best um, with no nicks and picks. I think this uh, this Green Arrow is done perfectly. So that's the, like you said that earlier, it's the best of the of the DC Premium format line at the moment. Yeah, that's what Ed was asking me, yeah. yeah. I mean, but all the little nicks that don't bother me, like a little bit of a skin complexion on the other ones, which doesn't bother me, that's not, that's not a deal breaker for me. Um, but, uh, this is definitely a nice piece. I mean, if they make another, I mean, hopefully they make another Aquaman. I'm not too fond about that Aquaman back there. I got the Aquaman for like really cheap. <laughs> I got the Aquaman for like 300 bucks, dude. Oh, so yeah. So I bought it for $200. I'm not too fond about that Aquaman, but they could do it better. I think they could do a better job with a better Aquaman classic look too, you know? Blue, Ver Blue sorry, Blue Van, Van Zent wants to Yo, see a beast done by that? Daniel Bell. Which one? He wants to see a beast done by Daniel Bell. And don't be surprised if he does it. Daniel Bell's doing them all at the moment. <laughs> yeah, Daniel Bell's doing them all. So don't be surprised. I mean, don't be surprised if he does the the beast, man. I mean, so he done them by Daniel. Right I now. actually done the whole. He's take the whole side show show. Yeah, he was. I even said that when I was out there. I was like, this is the Daniel Bell show. <laughs> <laughs> it is. <laughs> the guy's amazing, bro. You guys know yeah. what do you think about the new XM Deathstroke, the one six one? Actually, I like it. I like I, it too. I like it. The one six scale one from XM. Yeah, I like it. I mean, I like it. If you're gonna collect and you only if you don't have no room, that's the perfect line to collect and it's gonna be banging. Mm -hmm. It wants to scale is banging. There's some of them I don't like I like Superman. I like Superman from the one six scale. It's okay. Uh, it's not the I, worst Superman though. No, but it's okay. I don't like the base, the way it goes into his back cape. I just don't don't like right. the effect in that. I could have done better on the base on Superman. Um and uh my favorite is uh, Aquaman, Flash, now Deathstroke. Those are real good. And actually, the Wonder Woman is pretty hot, too. Yeah, if they put a beast out, I'm in trouble because I'm going to get beast. 
I still gotta get Beast. I still gotta get a Jubilee. Although I'm, I'm I just don't want to get a Jubilee. That that's my problem. It's like yeah, you I need them for your, your your collection, right? You're doing A, right? Doing the blue team. So doing the blue so, team, right? Yeah, Jubilee. Where I would need to complete the blue team, but I just man, she's not a character I really want. You know, so it's like, I, am I, I, do I really want to shell six, seven hundred bucks out on a Jubilee? I'm like, no, don't. Not well, even you a need little to bit. complete the collection. You might as well. Like, I have to complete the collection, dude. Like, that's why I'm. <sighs> I'm, I'm thinking of just like vetoing her out of the blue team in my own. Per I, I make my own blue team. Fuck Jubilee. <laughs> I just I don't like the character, so I, I just don't want to pay for that. <laughs> I mean, just imagine, like you said. <laughs> They're gonna sell out. They're gonna sell it. when that gambit hits the market. That is gonna sell out. It's gonna be. I'm thinking maybe something like Thanos, depending yeah. on what gambit. How, how big of an addition size do you think the gambit's gonna be? I think it's gonna be two thousand, dude. I think that's gonna be two thousand on the on the exclusive, and then there's you gonna be, so? and then there's gonna be even more of the regular. Sideshow yeah. knows, man. People want the gambit, so they're gonna just. Yeah, it's gonna be a high. Yeah, it's gonna be a high one. And, yeah, man. And, yeah, and I'm thinking also if they make a beast. They make a beast. They make all the ones they haven't made yet, dude. That stuff is just gonna. I mean, I, I'm gonna tell you something. That flash, that Daniel Bell sculpted, that flash is gonna go quick too. Hmm. That flash is gonna be like a gambit in the DC yeah. side. <laughs> no, I know. Yeah, I agree because it's another character that, that the DC people have wanted. Same thing with like Green Arrow. I'm pretty sure if it hasn't already, Green Arrow is about to go to sell out more than likely. DC fans yeah. are going to go after that. Yeah, but, um, the exclusive sold out already. Yeah, see, the exclusive sold out already. And, yeah, the and, uh, sold out. How, what was the addition size on, on the exclusive? 750 bro. Yeah, see, that's beautiful. That's good. That was perfect. That's beautiful. And those and the Flash is going to be one of them characters that are like that as well, I think. But Or maybe not. Maybe it'll be one that, that it's going to be a lot because Daniel Bell sculpted it. But um, I don't know, man. I, I think Gambit's going to be insane. It's still going to be I, awesome, though. I think you better be ready to hit that button when <laughs> Nah, I don't think it's gonna be like that. I don't Guarantee know, you, they're not gonna announce the edition size. But I, I don't think people are gonna wait for the edition size. I think people are just gonna hit that button. Doesn't matter. It's not gonna go on wait list as long as as long as they don't say what an edition size is. When that edition okay. is open, it's gonna be open to everybody at that point. How many XM has for Gambit? They always um, do a thousand, right? They always do a thousand. thousand do XM Studios always has a thousand cap. That's and it. then there's a made to order to that point. I don't. I, I gotta go to the site to check out what the ES is at the moment for that. So they it's, I know it's under a thousand. Oh, they're always under a thousand, right? XM's always under a thousand, right? Nine hundred and ninety nine is is their cap. It's a cap. That's good. See, that's good. That's nice. Mm -hmm. Cap it. That's good. That actually works out great. So, yeah, yeah man. That dude says the same thing. I want a Jubilee to complete the animated series team. I agree, dude. It was the only. You have to kind of get her to complete the blue team or complete the animated series line. But I, I just. I mean, do you really want to spend eight hundred, seven, eight hundred dollars on a Jubilee statue? I don't it's, think it's gonna be that much. I think it's just gonna be like X twenty three. Like X twenty three? Mm-hmm. I don't think How she's gonna be that much. How much was X twenty three? She was five, like six hundred bucks. Like five something. Five. No, she was like five ninety five, I think. No, was she? I think it was like five eighty, yeah. wasn't she? Yeah, I think I think she was like five ninety five. Jesse's saying that Rogue had an EX of a thousand. Yeah, I, I know that, but I mean, in at least to me, Rogue is a character that I would get. Because a companion for Gambit, right? Because a Gambit to me is the guy I would get. I, not to say that I won't like Rogue, and obviously I got Rogue first, but um, you know I got Rogue because I knew a Gambit would probably be coming out. That's the reason why I got her. So, what do you guys think? What, what do you think? Rogue is, is is Rogue a secondary character for you to, to Gambit, or is or is Gambit the secondary character to Rogue? Oh, that's a hard one. <laughs> that's a hard one. Hey, Paulo, I'm good with the cape, man. He's asking us about the cape on my Batman. I'm so Batman. far, so so good on my cape, but I went and did the extra measures before it starts happening to me, just in case it doesn't happen to me. I ended up, I ended up uh, putting a little piece of uh, felt on the front of the base to tilt him back a little backwards a little bit, and I also put a little bit of a piece of a of a tab between the cape and uh, and the base, just in case it doesn't create you know anything to happen to me so just I took True. measurements before i feel bad that everybody's going through this i hope everybody get their situation fixed yeah. uh you know with the batman so yeah i mean yeah. you look at you look at i mean then you look at wolverine and then you look at cyclops then you need gene gray yeah I know. you know what i'm saying know. and how would you put who would you who would you put gene gray with 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 cyclops or wolverine you put them all three together uh oh sandwich yeah <laughs> mm. I'm not gonna get Jean Grey. 
but it's all good. I was thinking about it, but I was thinking about it because she actually looks pretty. Does I mean, if 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 her um if her scope comes out like like her paint jack comes out like that face, she's beautiful. She I won't I won't I won't rock her with the um with the exclusive. I'll probably get the regular edition. Um, because she looks amazingly. She looks really good, dude. She looks really up, good. What I would do if I if I got her is I would take and remove the the little you know firefly things that are on her on her neck or whatever. Get somebody to resculpt that ser- that area. The face on the exclusive looks beautiful, bro. I love that more than the than the regular, in my opinion. I think the the face looks great. But if you have the other one, I really don't see a reason to upgrade, in my opinion. If I had a painter, uh, if I could get it painted, I'll get the snow painted in fire instead of white mm. to match the neck. But yeah. the flames coming out. Now, if the, if, if the base was the same color of the flames coming out of her neck, that thing would have been a beast. But had that fire look coming off the ground and also coming out of her neck, that thing would have looked amazing. Paolo says that he Paolo says he would uh, face Cyclops and Wolverine fighting for Gene. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be awesome. What if Cyclops is on a snow base like Gene? Would you then repaint it? Uh maybe yes, because I just feel like they just they they could have done something better with the exclusive, dude. I just you know like even either that or the base, one of those two could have done uh, better. You know what I mean? I just feel like that pinkish on the snow looks a little. I don't know. Hmm. But uh, I, I might just it doesn't bother me. If I just rock, if she just has the regular portrait on, she looks beautiful with the regular portrait. Let and she do. got a gray suit, which is okay. I already have mm-hmm. the Dark Phoenix. Mm-hmm. So I don't mind her having her as a regular, you know, when she looks like, you know, who she is. Mm-hmm. Um, on one of my bestest and next to either Cyclops or Wolverine. I'm okay with that. Um, I just uh, don't like to rock this close. So I just get the regular portrait and then the base doesn't bother me because it's nothing conflicting with the colors. Yeah, of I got the you. Her neck, you know what I mean. I think just the, the collector's edition would do just fine for me with the with the snow because uh, you know if you if you're right, what happens if Cyclops comes out in the snow? You know, True. Um, you know. Right. But I I, I um, I'm either thanks Ed, dude. Thank you very much for the congrats. See you, Barbara. We're about to close uh, it up right Barbara, now. Anyway. Man. To you, man. About to close so, it up right now. Anyway, so all right, we got a little sidetrack with the X Men talk. We got a little sidetrack yep. with New York Comic Con, but. All in all, Junior's happy, right? Yes, I am. We absolutely recommend the Green Arrow. The Green Arrow's dope. Yes, I am. I'll take some pics and post them on the pages so you guys can see them up close. Dude gets a marvelous stamp of approval. (laughs) I got to get the marvelous stamp going, bro. For real, man. (laughs) This is the shit that says legit on it. That looks looks sick. I love that. Thank you, Marvelous stamp on that. We We had Chad in the chat giving you some comic knowledge. Yes, Chad. Thank you for joining, man. That's awesome. Thank you for uh, supporting, the, coming here and supporting the channel. And everybody who joined us, thank you so much for coming by and seeing me in the unboxing. I always try to always look at everybody else's stuff too, and 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 and, and uh, interact with everybody else's stuff too. So, so with all that, man. Thanks, guys, for joining us for another episode of live boxing with your boys, Junior Statue Collector and the Marvelous Knight. We'll be coming back at you with more videos like this, hopefully pretty soon, so stay tuned for all that. Until next time, keep it marvelous. Keep it marvelous. Pay attention to the next MCE train. Choo-choo! (laughs) Choo-choo!